Welcome to this quick tutorial video on how to use Madbarn's feed database. Now you can find this database at madbarn.com and then you come to the learn tab and you click on feed database and this is the page that will come up. And you can see there's different categories of horse feeds and in this database there are thousands of different forages, feeds, or supplements that you can look at and compare their values across the feeds. Now we're going to look and just start using this tool to look at different crude protein, energy, and then in further on modules, we'll be looking at other nutrients in what we feed our horses. Now for this one, we're just going to look at Timothy Hay just to show you how the tool is used. So here you can type in Timothy Hay and then you click search. And this is the page that's going to come up. Now you're going to see Timothy Hay in pellet form or in hay form. So we're going to show you Timothy Hay in hay form. So you can just start looking at the values. Obviously there's different quality of Timothy Hay. For this demonstration, I'm just going to look at the one that's 9.6 crude protein and then 66.6% NDF. So when we click on that, this is the page that will come up. Now, when you look at this through the feed bank, these are general values and there is a description of the type of feed. Then when you come down, here's the ingredients. So if you're looking at bagged feed, like a complete feed, it's gonna list all the ingredients according to the manufacturer of that feed. Now, here's some average costs. Again, that's gonna vary depending on where you live. The percent dry matter and then the digestible energy per kilogram per dry matter. Now, when you come down to the nutritional analysis, you can see there's different panels and we're gonna focus first on the summary panel. You can look at this as dry matter or as fed, and I set it as as fed. The feeding rate, you can change, but I'm keeping it at 10 kilograms, which is roughly 22 pounds. And this is roughly the forage for a maintenance horse that weighs 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms but again, just as part of a demonstration. Now feeding the horse 10 kilograms of Timothy hay, this is the summary nutrients that it should be getting. Again, these are averages that are publicly available. So the NRC that publishes these values, and then obviously the energy is the calculation based on how much Timothy hay gives and then at that feeding rate. So you can look down the list and see all these nutrients. And then you do see some nutrients like selenium. And you see the description there about it would be zero. And again, that's going to depend on where this hay is grown, if they're selenium deficient soils or not. So these are values, again, provided by the NRC. What's also fun, if you really want to get more into it, is you can look at more specifics. So here in the protein, so our crude protein, Again, you can see the description there. And then we can go and look at our amino acids. So there's lysine. It's the first limiting amino acid in equine diets. You can see the amount the horse would be getting. Again, 10 kilograms as fed. When you look at carbohydrates, some of you may have known or know about non-structural carbohydrates, NSC. That's the sugar and starch. So you can see this is a low NSC hay. The mineral and vitamins, again, these are values provided by the NRC and you can see the different levels uh, as fed uh, parts per million, the IUs and vitamins. And again, it shows you that. You can look at the fatty acids and then also additives. Obviously this is just a hay and there wouldn't be any additives, but if it was a manufactured feed, you could look in there and they might have some of that in there. So again, a very fun tool for you to use. And I highly suggest you just use this tool as we go through this course. It's fun, it's free, and you can do some comparisons and even start looking at what you're feeding your horse and just start getting an idea of all the different nutrients in your animal's diet. 